Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I am Brett Dupree and today I just want to be kind of grateful. I was thinking about this. My right knee has been bothering me since last Monday, but it hasn't been that bad. It's getting better, but it does remind me of a time that I don't know what I talked about here. In 2018, I went to the Penny Arcade Expo. It's a uh, huge gaming, board gaming and gaming, like video game expo in the Seattle area where I live. And... Uh, it was a lot of walking, and I was very out of shape. I think I got over 40,000 steps in the three days that I was there. I think I only went three, three or two, I don't remember. Why did I only went two? Because I was so fat and out of shape. Well, I don't know why I said fat, and I'm still fat. So, But I was very out of shape. And I was just having issues walking around. And uh, by the last day, I could really feel my right knee hurt. I really wish I got that rickshaw at the end walking from the hotel where the board games were all the way back to the convention center parking lot. I think it was like four or five blocks, which is not that much, but when you're in pain, it's a lot. But I made it, and, you know, it's not like I haven't felt pain before. I mean, I lived my life in pain. In fact, I think I was already taking um, supplements, uh, especially I think uh, when I CrossFit in 2012, I really started taking like turmeric and other supplements to try to reduce inflammation and pain. But this knee pain just kept on persisting and it hurt. It hurt really bad. And then it continued to hurt and I actually went to the doctor for it, which is something that's rare to do. I rarely go to the doctor when I feel pain. I just usually suck it up. And yeah, it's a lot of things personal from growing up as a kid to things that happen when I'm adult, just living a long time without insurance and a fear of going to insurance and having to pay a lot of money. But I did have insurance at the time. I did have a job and I went to the doctor and they were like, we have no idea what's wrong with you. I'm like, ah, oh, crud. So I, that is when I um, started wearing a cane. I walked with a cane for about three months on my right knee and then my right knee felt better. But then my left knee started hurting around December, I think it was. So I kept, I think it was from, you know, overcompensating. Then as I walked with the cane with my left knee, it actually, it was fine. Both knees felt fine. And then my right knee started hurting. And then my left knee started to hurt. And then for like a year, I walked with the cane, uh, more than a year, because uh, um, Lightworker Toastmasters lasted longer than a year. And... Um, I had a cane throughout my entire time at Lightworker Toastmasters because it was hard to stand. You know, I did speeches while holding a cane. And sometimes I put the cane down and stand because I could stand for like maybe five, you know, the five, six minutes for a speech. But, you know, it, it was painful. I hated it. Uh, it sucked. And honestly, I thought that was just going to be my life now. Uh, I was just going to walk with a cane. Then COVID happened, which sucked. But COVID, I stuck my butt at home. I was one of the people who um, sheltered in. I ordered DoorDash. I spent so much money on DoorDash. It's embarrassing if I tell you how much money I spent on Grubhub and DoorDash. Very embarrassing. And during that time, my knees just felt better. Just one day I got up and my knees felt better. I could walk. I got up. I remember just getting up out of my bed, walking to the bathroom and like thinking to myself, wait a second. I didn't grab my cane. And then I was like, my knees fell fine. I don't need my cane. It felt almost like a miracle, really. A COVID miracle. And ever since that, I haven't needed a cane. And I've been through up and downs. You know, that back pain that I had that sparked me to go to Orange Theory. Um, you know, I've had my ankle pain and other pains, my shoulder pains from high school wrestling. But uh, through all that, I'm able to still work out. I'm able to still move forward. And I'm blessed. I am very blessed to be able to do that. Um, I, part of me, you know, isn't happy of where I am physically, especially still being over 400 pounds. But at the same time, I have lost over 70 pounds, which feels nice to lose, for sure. I feel so much better. As I said yesterday, last video, I feel so much better at um, 4 hundred that I do at 470. It's like night and day how I feel compared to how I felt two years ago. Even after, you know, 50 workouts that I had two years ago, I was in so much pain, just constantly sore. But yeah, so I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful. I have the ability to improve my health. I'm thankful to my knees 
for being able to hold up and allow me to walk as much as I have walked. I'm thankful for my body to allow myself to work harder, to accept the medication that I had to take for my diabetes and to take to it and not have, you know, horrible side effects where I can't take it. And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that it's worked, that I got my blood sugar under control. I'm thankful that my knees work. I'm thankful that my ankle works enough for me to continue to work out. I am thankful for my body to be getting more mobile. I'm thankful to my body for being more healthy. I'm thankful for my body for allowing me to push harder and improve my health, even at the age of 46. I'm working hard, and I am blessed to be able to do this. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. I have so much gratitude for you. Brett Dupree's body, we did it. And we still have a long way to go, and I and I believe in your ability to do this. And, yep, that's my video. I just wanted to have gratitude for my body for getting me this far in this health journey. Um, just a neat thing, put things in perspective to being like, yeah, if that my knees didn't heal, would I even gone to Orange Theory? Would I I'd probably still be 500 pounds complaining and being in pain and my knees hurt too much to work out, so I'd be probably doing some, like, you know, like um, – DDP yoga, tell myself I was going to do it, but then never do it, which is how I spent like six months to a year with DDP yoga, telling myself to do it, but never do it because I can't work from home, work out from home. Anyway, thank you for listening. I love who you are. Thank you for all your support. And as always, you are worthy.